The Cardano hard fork has been delayed. In today's video, we're going to be going over the new dates and what's up with the delay. First things first, if you are holding your ADA still, you can stake it to earn passive ADA with the Jack stake pool. Now, we're going to jump right into it. Input Output Hong Kong, one of the founding partners of Cardano, about a day and a half ago, put out a video saying, hey, we have, a pro we have a progress update. And a lot of people, maybe they don't like it, but I think most people in Cardano weren't too shocked and weren't too really mad about it. A delay of about a month and expected for the next end month of July, around the 29th, for me to be the new date of the hard fork. That's pretty much just as simple as that. Um, a lot of basically what's going on is there's a lot of testing happening. They're finalizing some work, getting rid of through some bugs, and they'd like to do more testing on a, something that's going to be, you know, aims to have a billion users. They want to do some more testing for a month to expand upon what they've built and make sure that any bugs they found or any bugs that may be found in the future are patched and fixed before we do a hard fork to the main code on a blockchain. Because after all, shipping something that is rushed and not ready, you know, waiting a month is not really a big deal. It's not really going to be the end of the world, but it might be the end of a lot of people's finances if something is wrong or astray and we hard fork with a bug in the blockchain. Okay, that would not be good. Now, there are a lot of people working with the testnet version. The testnet is about to hard fork soon, and then they'll work on that for a month. And if it go, everything goes smoothly, we'll hard fork to the mainnet at the end of July. Now, that's not guaranteed, but it likely is the expected outcome. Um, especially with a whole month of testing, I expect that to be a much more accurate timeline than the previous, you know, June it seemed really soon and really sudden. Um, and also this likely is to affect probably the price of Cardano because the hard force is usually the catalyst event. If this is to happen, there's now another month of run up for people to get all excited about the hard fork, or I don't know, maybe the market will react differently. I have no idea. But essentially, there's lots of developers on test networking, lots of stake pool operators and actual projects uh, that are building on Cardano working with the test nets versions of the new hard fork. And there's going to be a lot more development coming and work on the hard fork in the next month as we approach a new date of around July 29th. You can see here, the Cardano mainnet hard fork occurring during the last week of July. That is a working assumption. Okay, so it's a, it's very, you know, up in the air. It's not 100%, but it is a working assumption that, hey, a month delay. Now it's going to be the last week of July instead of last week of June. To recap once more, for those of you who may have missed that the testnet hard fork is going to be the end of June. The testing duration is about a month. And the last week of July, we have a mainnet hard fork for the target dates. Now, I also want to mention that to me, this delay is not a big deal, as I mentioned on this video already. And this, it really is Cardano's golden ticket to mass adoption, making something that is built to last for a lot of people and taking the time to do it right the first time around. That is as simple as it gets. And that is the whole video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed. It's been your friend Jack. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.